Hi everyone, I'm Olivia and welcome to my channel Learning with Liv. So in today's video, we're going to be learning how to fold your clothes military style. I originally saw this video posted on Lad Bible titled Military Hacks and I'll leave the link in the description box to that video. So I thought why not give it a try because those principles of folding can easily be applied to civilian clothing. Now, there's an art to effectively folding clothes, and this is especially important if you're packing for a big holiday or a weekend away, if you wanna put a few things into storage, or if you're moving house. And I've got a variety of styles, materials, and thicknesses, so you can see how each one will look. If you have a folding hack you'd like to share, then please leave a comment below. So without further ado, let's get learning with Liv. So in the Lad Bible video, they called this technique the Ranger Roll. And what we're going to do is basically fold our clothes in a certain way so that they're nice and compact. So what we've got here is a knit jumper, a hoodie, a knit top, a t-shirt, a long sleeve t-shirt, a dress, some long shorts, a skirt, some jeans, some socks, and some undies. So what we're gonna start with today is the t-shirt. So what we're gonna do is grab this bottom section here and fold it back toward the collar about three or four inches. Then we're gonna flip over the shirt so that the three or four inches are tucked under the back here. Now we're going to take one side of the shirt and fold it into halfway like so, and then fold the sleeve back like this. Then we're gonna take the other side and fold this into halfway as well, and then fold the sleeve back. Then we're going to take one side and fold it right over the center so that it's nice and flat. Now you're going to turn it so that the head and shoulder section is closest to you. And what we're going to do is we're going to roll nice and tight all the way down. Now the smoother this is, the more crisp your roll will be. So when you get to this nice thick section here, just continue to roll all the way over until it starts to gape and flap about. So you're gonna pick that up and then you're gonna take this flap and just tuck it over your t-shirt like so. It kind of slots your t-shirt into itself. And what we've got now is our very first ranger roll. You can also follow a similar process to fold long sleeve shirts and I'm gonna quickly show you how to do that now. So what we're gonna do is the same thing. Just lay it down so that it's nice and flat and fold this bottom section here about three or so inches. And again, we're going to flip it over so that it's facing the right way. Now what we're gonna do is fold our shirt halfway and keep this sleeve facing towards you. And then keeping it parallel to the side of the shirt, we're gonna fold the sleeve over the body like that. So we're gonna do the same on the other side. So fold this side over towards the middle and place it on top of the other sleeve into about thirds. Now this sleeve is facing the other way, away from you, and we're gonna fold this down so that it sits on top of this side of the shirt. Now it's the same as before, turn the shirt around towards you, making sure that the collar and the shoulder part is closest to your body and just roll. Again, when there's a little gaping section here, we're going to just tuck that into itself, making sure it goes all the way around, just like so. This also works for knit shirts. And what we're gonna do is basically the same as always. So the thicker your material is, the wider you fold. So a t-shirt you can fold into quarters, so in half and then half again. Something like this, you would fold into thirds like this, and then possibly a thick jumper you might fold in half like that. And then you would roll like that. It just depends on the thickness of your fabric. So something like this material here, we're just going to roll as per usual. So tuck under the bottom about three inches wide and then fold it into thirds. And this one over the top like that. Twisting it so that the head and shoulders are closest to you and then roll. Once again, so that the gaping section is on top. Then turn and fold this over itself and note that the thicker the material is, the harder it is for you to fold over itself. And there's another small ranger roll complete. And now we're gonna do the same thing with a nice thick jumper. 
This time, we're going to put the sleeves across the body and make a giant crisscross X shape. I think that this one we can probably get away with folding into thirds instead of half as well. Next we have a hoodie and we're going to crisscross the arms over again to make the X shape. Now make sure that your hood is open and then again fold this into thirds. Now we're going to turn the hoodie the opposite way so that the hood is away from us and the bottom is closest to us. We're going to roll from the bottom nice and tight and when you get close to the hood, we're just going to take the drawstrings and pull them a little bit to create some bunching. Then we're going to tuck the strings back into the hood and continue to roll up and into the hood. Now we're going to arrange a roll a dress. So take the hem of the dress and fold it all the way into half so that the hem and the collar meet. Then take the middle of the dress and fold it back maybe about five inches. Keep the hem and shoulder section closest to you. And then we're going to fold the dress into thirds, making sure it's nice and flat and has nice straight square edges. Once again, take the top section and roll. Then fold the dress into itself using the gaping flap at the top. The next thing we're going to learn is how to fold long shorts and this works for skirts and shorter shorts as well. So I've got a skort here to kill two birds with one stone. So firstly, make sure the waistband is closest to you and then take that waistband and flip it inside out to about three or four inches wide all the way around. The wider the waistband or the thinner your waistband will depend on how much material you have to fold your clothes under at the end. We're going to take one side of the shorts and fold them into the center and do the same on the other side. Then we're going to fold this together into quarters and make sure it's roughly the same width all the way up. Turn them around so that the waistband is away from you and roll. Once rolled, take the elastic waistband and fold it over the shorts. Now we could have left a little bit more space here at the top so maybe roll it back 5 inches or so instead but that is it. And now for the skort. This is probably the most difficult one as the material is less stretchy than the others but I'm going to show you how to do it anyway. And this works for leggings, tracksuits and or any long pants as well. So the first thing you need to do is lay your jeans out nice and flat like this. We're going to do the same thing we always do for our pants. We're just going to fold this top part in about 3 to 6 inches all the way around the pants and just tuck in the pockets like that. Now we're going to fold the waistline in over to halfway like this, but make sure the pant leg twists so that it's still flat on the bottom. What you don't want to do is fold half up here and half down here. You want to do half at the waistline and then unfold the leg so that it's flat. Now we're going to do the same for this side. Turn the waistline away from you so that the ankles are closest to your body. We're going to crisscross the pant legs at the bottom and roll. Again, take the gaping part and fold it into itself, somehow. Now this denim is extremely tough. It's not stretchy at all, but here we go. We've got a roll of denim jeans. And now we have our socks and undies. I don't think too many people are worried about these because they don't necessarily take up too much space as it is, but regardless, I'm gonna show you how to range your roll your socks and undies. So first of all, with your undies, we're gonna do the same thing as we always do with pants. We're gonna take the waistband here and flip it inside out so that it's roughly, depending on the size of your undies, two to three inches wide, like that. Now take one side and fold it over into the center, roughly a third maybe, and then the same on the other side, roughly a third as well. We're going to flip it around so that the base of the pants are facing you and we're going to roll. Once again, take the flap here and fold it over. 
as you can see it wasn't thick enough so it just came undone so we're going to go back and we're going to make it a little bit thicker and do it all over again this time folding into quarters instead of thirds And now for our socks. We're gonna place one sock on top of the other, but we're gonna leave a little gap at the top here like that. So flip it around and start from the toes and we're just gonna roll all the way up the sock. He's got good brains. <laughs> one minute, 37 seconds later. Okay, so place one sock on top of the other and leave a little gap just like that at the top, probably just the width of the elastic on the sock. And we're going to roll our socks together like this. Now take the longest overhanging piece of sock and tuck the socks into it. And there we have it, a nice little ranger rolled sock. We got there in the end. And last but not least, we have some big boy socks. We're gonna make sure that they're nice and flat and we're gonna do the exact same thing that we did to the smaller pair. You might find that you need to leave a little bit more room at the top just because they're thicker and you don't want them to unravel. And there we have it, that is everything. We are all complete. Now we know how to ranger roll. So this probably isn't the best method for really expensive garments or clothes that need to be aired out. What you can do is just roll them a little bit more loosely or I would suggest investing in a garment bag. And as you can see, it works for just about every material, but some thicknesses and styles work a little bit better than others. This technique also works for pajamas and swimmers as well. And just like that, you're all set for your holiday or to move house. Just go ahead and pop them into your suitcase, garbage bags or box and you're ready to go. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you next week.